So this is a lap guide for Largo Majori GP. So use the 100 meter board as your reference and break it around 80 to 70 meters before the corner. Hit the apex as it turns one and two and get on the power as early as you can. Now for turn three, you can use as much of the asphalt on the outside as you like. This won't be in breach of track limits. Hit the apex at turn three and for turn four, you need to keep at least two wheels on the red and white curbs on the entry and the exit. We don't use FIA track limits in Race on Oz, so if you use all four wheels on the concrete apron or the tarmac runoff, you will get a penalty. Use the end of the red and white curbs on the left as your reference for braking into the hairpin, hit the apex and get on the power as soon as you can. For the S's, you need to keep at least two wheels on the red and white curbs. Carry as much speed as you can, and on the exit, you can use as much of the asphalt as you like. From here, it's going to be full throttle until the hairpin at the bottom of the hill. Again, we don't use FIA track limits, so just don't use the concrete apron on the inside. You just need to brake at around the 50 meter board and hit the red and white curb on the apex and also on the exit to carry as much speed as possible. Full throttle on the run up to turn 16 and 17. You brake at around 60 meters before the corner. Use at least two wheels on the red and white curbs and this will also help the car rotate through the corner. Be careful of this corner here, just don't run off the track, which is easy to do. And brake at around 50 meters for the final corner. Use as much of the kerb on the inside as possible. And that is one lap of Lago Majori JP.